بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم we continue doing this all the exam questions I did this one now next one use the method of undetermined coefficients to find the particular solution okay and he gave me the stated homogeneous the solution the yc so the yc is what c1 is minus x plus c2x is minus x so what are the roots for the homogeneous or yc minus one repeated and from here what are the roots zero zero so my new list there is no duplication so actually i need this only but i'm doing it every time so i have yb hat will be c1 a is minus x plus c2 x is minus x plus c3 plus c4x okay i cancel yc this is cancelled so my yp will be a plus bx i need yp prime b yb double prime zero i need one two one this substitute in one huh? substitute in one this is one okay so what i get I get yb double prime plus 2yb prime plus yp that will be what 0 plus 2b plus a plus bx that equal what x square is it sorry this is three zeros sorry this are three zeros so i need plus five x square x square give me three zeros huh? so i need the constant coefficient of x coefficient of x square that give me b plus 2cx and that give me 2c yeah yeah let me do it again that will be 2c plus 2b plus 2cx plus a plus bx plus cx squared equal x squared. Okay, so I have what? I have coefficient of one or coefficient of x squared. It's what c and it's one in the other side. Um, this is gone. Coefficient of x, what give me x? 2c plus b, 2c plus b, and that should be zero. C is one, so B equal minus two. Constant, we have what? A plus two B plus two C. Is it? Yeah. Yes. C is two, one times two, this is two. This is minus four. 2 minus 4, this is equal to 0, by the way. So you have a minus 2 equals 0. So a equal 2. So it is yp. Will be a, which is 2, b minus 2, and c is 1. That will be yp. Yeah. And what is the general solution? Y equal YC plus YP. What is YC? Uh, it's C1 is minus X plus C2X is minus X plus YB, which is this one. That's it, easy one. So this initial point of problem. Oh, now, now he want me to solve the same problem, but now with the initial condition. This is the same problem. If you notice, he said your solution obtains the equation number two, which is this one. So I have y is c1. Let me rewrite it again. E is minus x plus c2. X is minus x plus two minus two x plus x squared. Correct? Yes. Now we need the condition. I need y prime, by the way. 
that will be minus C1 east minus X plus C2 east minus X minus C2X east minus X minus 2 plus 2X. I need Y at 0 equal 1. That give me what? C1, C2 gun plus 2 is equal to 1. So C1 equal minus 1. Y prime at zero is equal to minus one. So you have what? Minus C1 is minus C1 plus C2. This is zero minus two. This is zero. Since six is zero equal minus one. This is minus, so you have C2 minus two. This is minus minus one. So it's one, take it to the other side, equal minus two. So C2 equals zero. So my solution for this initial condition would be y equal, is it C2? This is one minus two, minus one is equal to minus one. Yeah, so C2 equals zero. So y equals C1 is minus x, C2 is zero, plus two minus two x plus x squared. But you can check y at zero, not C1. C1 is what? Minus one, that would be minus. So it's minus one plus two, that is one. Yeah. Okay, so this is my solution. The complementary solution of a fifth order differential equation is given by this. Okay. So he gave me the solution of this, which is YC. So roots for for yc are what? 0, 1, minus 1, plus or minus i. Roots from here are what? This is 0, this is 1, plus or minus i. So new list, you want the form, you want to leave the form the of, of, of yp. Don't evaluate the constant, okay? What is the new list? 0, 0, 1, 1, Minus one plus or minus i plus or minus i. So I have here one, two, three, five. I have here one, two, four, nine. That will be nine. Yes. So y b hat will be what? C one plus C two x plus C three e x plus C four x e x plus C five e minus x plus C six cosine x plus c7 sine x, plus c8 x cosine x, plus c9 x sine x. Okay, and they need to cancel yc. I need to cancel yc. What is yc? This is cancelled. This is cancelled. Minus x also cancelled. And cosine and sine cancelled. So what is my yp? The 4 will be AX plus BX AX plus CX cosine X plus DX sine X. That will be my YC. My YP, yes, the form of YP. Find the form of a particular solution YP. Given this is a solution. He doesn't want you to do this calculation unless he gave you this. So what are the roots for YC? Roots from YC. YC. It will be what? I have 4 and 4. I have plus or minus 4 i. Roots from here are what? 4 plus or minus 4 i. This one give me plus or minus i plus or minus i. Since I have x sine x. Because of the x, it means plus or minus repeated. Okay, my new list. That will be 4, 4, 4, plus or minus 4i, plus or minus 4i, plus or minus i, plus or minus i. Yb hat will be C1, A4x, x, A4x, x square, A4x. Plus 
55 sine for x plus c6 x cosine for x is a bit x sine for x and then you need this which is what c8 cosine x c9 sine x plus c10 x cosine x c11 x sine x now i cancel y c so i need to cancel this cancel this cancel this and cancel this so it is my yp is i have here what bx cosine for x cx sine for x okay i have this this and there is sine and cosine times x plus d cosine x plus a sine x plus f x cosine x plus g x sine x what clear i have this solution find the general solution of this from this one it's very clear you cannot do it so first standard form yes what is f of x e to the power x x is minus one i think we did it before did we do it, do it? get it easily no similar okay let's have a calculation see well, the most important is the integration you need to be careful about the integration that's the most important thing okay two get the homogeneous equals zero so what's the auxiliary equation so you have r One and one, y c. Okay, third step. Find that this is y one. This is y two. Find the own skin of y one y two. That will be what? A x a x. X a x. I have a x plus x a x. Do the product. I have a e e x e to x minus x e to x that will be e to x that will be w w1 tab zero x is minus one e to the power x times x a x and a x plus x a x that give me what e to x yeah that will make it easier the value two yeah it's zero x to the power zero, which is one, e to the power two x with the minus sign. Okay. The other one I have ax, ax, and they have zero, x is minus one ax. That give me what? X is minus one e to x. Okay, fourth step, u1 prime, w1 over w. That give me what? Minus e to x over e to x. That give me minus one. So u1 is what? Minus x. u2 prime, w2 over w. That will be what? x is minus 1, e to x over e to x. That give me x is minus 1. So u2 will be what? Then absolute value of x. He said x is positive, so then x. So what is my yp? yb will be u1 y1 plus u2 y2 so it's minus x what is y1 e to the power x plus x e to the power x ln x what is the general solution yc plus yb so you plot i put only yc and add it to 
YB, okay, that's there's there is something you need to notice. I have C1 AX plus C2 X AX. This is minus X AX plus X AX then X. You notice this, I can make it one constant. Let's C3, C2 minus one. So that will be C1 e to the power x plus c3 x e to the power x plus x e to the power x then x. Next one, find the general solution. Don't evaluate the constant. Don't evaluate the constant. Okay. So I need the uh, yeah first the homogeneous. Find the rows and find the uh, yc is the auxiliary plus or minus 2i so yc will be c1 cosine 2x plus c2 sine 2x what are the roots from here i have plus or minus 2i i have one repeated and i have zero so my new list of zeros it will be zero one one plus or minus 2i plus or minus 2i yb hat will be c1 c2 ax plus c3 x ax plus c4 cosine 2 x plus c5 sine 2 x plus c6 x cosine 2 x plus c7 x sine 2 x i need the form so i need yp i need to cancel yc which is only this and this so YB will be A plus BAX plus CXAX plus DX cosine to X plus AX sine to X. Yeah, that's it. Use the written term coefficient to find the particular solution. So I need to solve it. Not only, yeah, I need to solve it completely. Okay, so first I need the homogeneous. Exiliary equation r square plus one equals zero. So r equal plus or minus i y c c one cosine x plus c two sine x. What are the roots from here? Roots zero zero and plus or minus i. So my new list would be what? <coughs> yeah. Let me get the calculation now. 0, 0, plus or minus i, plus or minus i. So yb hat will be a plus bx. We'll do it c1, c2, okay. c1 plus c2 x plus c3 cosine x, c4 sine x, c5 x cosine x, c6 x sine x. I cancel YC, so I cancel this, this. So my YP, A plus BX plus CX cosine X, yeah, plus DX sine X. I need Y double prime, so I need Y prime, that will be B. Be careful here. I have C cosine X minus C X sine X plus D sine X plus D X cosine X. Y B double prime. That will be what? Minus C sine X minus C sine X minus C X cosine X plus d cosine x plus d cosine x minus d x sine x i need this is one this is zero this is one so i need to substitute this in one and this is one okay what you will get yeah let me do it yeah the constant will be a, so I have yb double prime. Let me do it here. 
YB double prime plus YB. That's what I need. That will be A plus BX. Now I have this, this, and I have this one easier. I have minus 2C sine X. And they have plus 2D cosine X. Okay. And they have what? I have CX cosine X with minus CX cosine X. This is cancelled. And DX sine X with minus D cosine X. That will be cancelling or cancelled also. That will make it easy. I have 4X. Plus 10 sine x. Okay. So it's the coefficient of 1. From this side, I have a. The other side, I have 0. It's the coefficient of x. From this side, I have b. From the other side, I have 4. What's the coefficient of cosine x? Or sine x, let me. I start with sign, no problem. That give me what minus two c. In the other side, it's ten. So c equal minus five. Cosine x. What will be the coefficient? I have two d. In the other side, it's zero. So d equal zero. So what is y p? This is what I'm looking for. A. 0, b times x, 4x, c times x cosine x, c is what? c is minus 5, so I have minus 5x cosine x, and d is 0. Done. So I have this, which is this answer, correct. Okay, let me continue. I need the general solution. Okay. So what I will do first is standard four. It's not a standard four, I need to divide by four. So y double prime plus nine y equal one over four cosecant three x. Okay, this is my first step. Second step, I solve the homogeneous to find YC. That give me R squared plus nine. So R will be plus or minus three I. So YC, C1 cosine three X plus C2 sine three X. That is Y1 and that is Y2. Number three, I find the wrong skin. That give me what? Cosine three x and sine three x. That give me minus three sine three x. I have three cosine three x. That give me what? Three cosine square three x plus three sine square three x, and that is equal to three. That make it easy. Then I have w one which is zero, what is it? One over four, cosecant three X, and that will be sine three X, three cosine three X. Okay, that give me what? Zero minus one over four, sine three X times cosecant, cosecant three X, that will be one, so it's minus one over four, gun. Okay, W two. That will be what? Cosine 3x minus 3 sine 3x. Here I have what? 0, 1 over 4, cosecant 3x. That will be what? 1 over 4, cosecant 3x, cosine 3x. In other words, it's cosine over sine. Okay. Now, fourth step. Y1 prime, that will be W1 over W. 
What is W1? Minus 1 over 4 over 3. That is minus 1 over 12. So what is U1? Minus 1 over 12x. Easy one. U2 prime. That would be W2 over W. That is what? 1 over 12. Cosine 3x. Over sine 3x. So it is u2, 1 over 12, integral of this. Okay. So, if I let u equal sine 3x, what will be du? It will be 3. Cosine 3x. So I need 3 and 1 over 3 here. Okay. So I have this what is 1 over 36x. Du over u. And that is 1 over 36x. Then absolute value of u. Which is 1 over 36x. Then absolute value of sine 3x. So it is yp. If the step yp will be u1 y1 plus u2 y2. And that is what is u1 minus 1 over 12x. What is y1? y1 is cosine. And y2 is 1 over 36. Then sine 3x multiplied by y2, which is sine 3x. What is my general solution? y will be yc plus yb. Yeah, which is easiest to see. Okay. More use the method of variation parameters to find the particle solution. Okay, so I need to variation parameters and the standard for yes. What is f of x? x ax. Here I need to write f of x. Huh? Yeah, just to make the things clear. Okay. Okay. This is f of x. Second, I solve this homogeneous. So I have what? R squared minus 4 equals 0. So I have R equal plus or minus 2. So y c. C1 is minus 2x plus C2 e to x. This is y1. This is y2. Good. There the step w y1 y2 that will be what e minus 2x and I have minus 2 e minus 2x e to x 2 e to x that give me 2 plus 2 and that is 4 e to the power 2x times e to the power minus 2x that will be e to the power 0 which is 1 no worries w1 will be 0 x a x I have e to x, 2 e to x. That give me minus x e 3x. Okay, w2, which I think easier. e minus 2x, minus 2 e minus 2x, 0 x e to the power x. Yeah, that give me what x is minus x. All right, yeah. Okay, now fourth step, u1 prime, w1 over w. w1 is what? Minus x e3x over 4. That give me what? Minus 1 over 4, x e3x. 
So it will be U1. Integral of this. I have minus 1 over 4. Integral x, e3x dx. Okay. Now I need my bars or tabular method. Tabular will do it. I have what? X, e3x. 1 is 1 over 3 a3x. This is 0 is 1 over 9 a3x. This is plus, this is minus. So this one is what? Don't forget there is minus 1 over 4. Okay. Do it this way to be sure. So you have 1 over 3 x a3x minus 1 over 9 a3x. Okay. That will be U1. Now we need to do U2, which is not difficult. W2 over W. What's W2? X is minus X over 4. So that will be U2. 1 over 4. Integral X is minus X dx. I need to do the tabular again, but be careful now. I have a minus sign somewhere. Let me do it here. I have x, 1, 0, e is minus x, minus e is minus x, e is minus x. This is plus, this is minus. So I have what? 1 over 4 times minus x, e is minus x. Minus e is minus x. That's u2. I will go to yp. That will be u1, y1, plus u2, y2. Yeah, be careful. I want what e is minus 2x. So that give me minus 1 over 12 x e to the power 3x times e to the minus 2x, e to the power x, minus or plus 1 over 36, e to the power 3x times e to the power minus 2x, that give me e to the power x. Now y2 times e to the power 2x, so I have minus 1 over 4, e is minus x times e to the power 2x, e to the power x, minus 1 over 4, e to the power x. Do the calculation. That will be what? Minus 1 over 12, minus 1 over 4. 1 over 4 is what? 3 over 12. So I have minus 1 over 12. That will be minus 1 over 3, x, e to the power x. One over thirty six minus one over four. This is nine over thirty six. One minus nine, that will be minus eight over thirty six, which is minus four over nine. E to the power x. You can check the calculation. So, what is my general solution? Y will be yc. He want what? He want only yp. Okay. That is YP. Next one, could say the second order in the differential equation. YP, he give you YP. And YC, also he give you YC. Good. Then find the solution of this. He want you only to check the initial value problem. So he said, then what is my general solution? Y will be yc plus yb that will be c1 e to x cosine 5x plus c2 e to x sine 5x plus x plus 1. I need y prime so I need to find y prime. Yeah be careful. That 2c1 e to x cosine 5x minus c1 e to x sine 5x minus 5t1. Oh. 
yes, plus 2c2 e to x cosine sine 5x plus 5 c2 e to x cosine 5x plus 1. Okay, y at 0 equal to let me realize what c1 this is 0 a to the power 0 is 1 cosine 0 is 1 sine 0 is 0 gun this is 0 plus 1 equal to 2 so c1 equal 1 done y prime at 0 equals minus 8 so i have what here the one with cosine that makes sense to c1 this is sine 0 sine 0 plus 5c2 plus 1 equals minus 8. So we have 2c2, that will be 2 plus 1, that will be 3. So 5c2. Minus 8. Yeah, that will be 3. came into mind okay no problem the, the value here but we had zero let me check positive negative this is two okay this is negative actually this is gone this is two this is positive this is one so everything is okay i have c1 with c0 huh? with uh, x is zero i need to read the cosine this is zero this is one equal two so c1 equal one 2c2, here's 0, 0, 5c2 plus 1 equals minus 8. Yeah, so 5c2, 3, not, yeah, this is 2 times 1. So it's 2 plus 1, 3, take it the other side, minus 11. Yeah, if you make it plus 8, it will be better. It's okay. So what will be my solution? c1 which is 1 e to x cosine 5x minus 11 over 5 e to x sine 5x plus x plus 1 yeah at 0 it is 1 uh, it is it is 2 <laughs> yeah appropriate form you want the form that will make it easier Okay, so what are the roots from here? The roots from here. I have r plus 1, r minus 1 square, r square plus 4 equals 0. So roots are minus 1, 1, 1, plus or minus 2i. So yc, c1 is minus x. X A X cosine to X sine to X. What are the roots from here? I have zero, one. Here I have one plus or minus two I two times. So it is my new list. Will be what? Zero minus one. 1, 1, 1, I have 2 from here and 1 from here, and plus or minus 2i three times. So it is yb hat, that will be c1 plus c2. Now I have three, three ones. Now I have sine cosine three times. X cosine, X sine, X square cosine, I cancel YC, what is YC? This is one, this one cancelled, A to the power X cancelled, X also, Cosine cancel, sine cancel. So it is my yp a plus b x squared ax plus 
c x cosine to x plus d x cosine to x plus a x squared cosine to x plus a f i mean x squared sine to x yeah that is that's in this one, yeah. Cx and a, a, x squared and x with cosine and also with sine. Okay. <laughs> That's it the way you like. Okay. If yb is a particular solution, then find yb at minus one. He wants me to find yb and then substitute. Yeah. That's that's made in the thing. Okay. So I need to solve this. I need an determinant coefficient. I think we'll do it easily. And determinant coefficient. Yeah, we have a few number of questions. Let me do it. Try to do, do them quickly. I have what? Solve the homogeneous. That give me what? Equal zero. So I have R square plus three R minus four. Which is R plus four times r minus one. So I have r equal minus four or r equal one. So I see okay that's what I see. Now what is the zeros from here? Zero zero zero. So new list actually there's no duplication so I can use this. 0, 0, 0, minus 4 and 1. Yb hat Okay. I need to cancel this. So Yb will be A plus Bx plus Cx square. Yb hat would be what b plus two cx y b double hat double prime double prime would be two c so plug it in one we have y b double prime plus three y b prime minus four y b that should equal what two c three y prime plus three b plus 6cx, okay, here multiply by minus 4, so I have minus 4a, minus 4bx, minus 4cx square, and that should equal to x square. So coefficient of x square, from here is minus 4c, and that equal to 2, so c equal minus half, Coefficient of x, yeah, I'm gone with this. I have 6c minus 4b. This is gone. And that should equal to 0. c is minus half, so I have minus 3. So minus 4b. c is minus half, that is minus 6 over 2 minus 3. Take the other side equal to 3. So b minus 3 over 4. Coefficient of one, oops. One give me what? Minus four a plus three b plus two c, and that should equal to zero. So I have what? Minus four a. Okay. 3b, that would be minus 9 over 4. Okay. 2c, minus 1. Equal 0. So minus 4a, equal to what? Minus 9 over 4, minus 1, that minus 13 over 4, take it the other way, that will be 13 over 4. So a, will be minus 13 
over 60. So it is YP. YP will be A, which is minus 13 over 16. BX minus 3 over 4X. C is what minus half x square. Now, what is y p at minus one? That will be minus thirteen over 16 minus one that will be plus three over four minus half now i have everything over 16 that will be minus 13 16 over four is four that will be plus 12 16 over 2, 8, minus 8. That give me minus 9 over 16. Watch it this. OK. We'll take the solution of this differential equation. OK. Yeah, let me do it. Uh, if you notice, by the way, these, these three equations were in the, in the summer. If you notice, Particular studio, I mean, uh, the four where I have complicated ones for the thermal coefficients. Now, I need to do also in the thermal coefficient, but finding the constant, finding the A and B, okay? Find these constants. And they have one for variation parameters. Also, last term, you notice he gave you A and B, he wants you to find A and B. You need the form. And this is variation parameters usually these three questions around that okay so let me do this this is variation parameters standard form yes what is f of x 16 second square 4x <laughs> okay solve the homogeneous so I have r squared plus 16 so r equal plus or minus 4i so it is yc, c1 cosine 4x plus c2 sine 4x. This is y1, this is y2. W of y1, y2 run skin. Be careful. That will be minus 4 sine 4x. That is sine 4x. 4 cosine 4x. That will be 4 cosine squared plus 4 sine squared. That will be 4. We did it many times. The value one will be what? The value one will be. Yeah. Oh, be careful. I have this is zero. 16 secant square for X. OK, this is what? Sine for X. Or cosine 4x. I don't care about this, but it's okay. That give me minus 16 secant square 4x sine 4x. Okay, w2, that will be what? Now cosine 4x minus 4 sine 4x. And this is 0. 16 secant square 4x. That give me what? 16 secant 4x. Okay. Now I have u1 prime. That will be w1 over w2. That give me what? Uh, 
W1, that will be minus 4. Secant square 4x. Sine 4x. So it will be U1. Integral minus 4 integral. Yeah. This is sine. 4x over cosine square 4x dx. Yeah, let me use a different color. Let do let let u equal cosine 4x. What will be the u? Minus 4 sine for x dx. So u1 will be equal. It's du over u square. du over u square, which is minus 1 over u, which is minus 1 over cosine for x. This is u1. Now we'll go to u2, which I think easier u2, u2 prime, u2 prime will be w2 over w, and that will be what, 4 secant 4x. So u2 will be the integral of that. This is u, this is du. So you have integral of secant u, which is ln secant 4x plus tan x. Now it is yb. It will be u1, y1, plus u2, y2. Be careful here. Y1 is what? Y1 is cosine. So cosine times minus 1 over cosine, that will be minus 1. Okay. Plus, I have Y2, which is sine times this. Times then secant of X plus and x, which is this one, yeah. He said if yb is the particular solution, find this, just any substitute. As I said, usually we have these kind of problems. So it's ready, and just to find a and b. So yb prime will be b, yb double prime will be zero. So I have yb double prime, Minus yb prime plus minus. Yeah, be careful, plus minus. Minus 2yb, don't rush it. I have 0 minus b minus 2a minus 2bx. That would be 3x plus 4. Now, coefficient of x, I have minus 2b equal 3. So b equal minus 3 over 2. Coefficient of 1. I have minus b minus 2a equals to 4. b is 3 over 2, so you have 3 over 2 minus 2a equal 4. So minus 2a equal 4 minus 3 over 2, which is 5 over 2. So a equal minus 5 over 4. What he want? He want 4a plus 4b. That will be minus 5. That minus 12 over 2 minus 6. So it's minus 7. That's with my answer. He want the 4. He want he doesn't want it to solve it, just he want the 4. Okay, so I solve this. Homogeneous. So I have r squared plus 4. What is yc? What are the zeros from here? Yeah, plus or minus 2i 
two times, new list, uh, plus or minus two i, three times, y b hat, x cosine to x, x sine to x, I need that one more, x squared cosine to x, x squared sine to x, cancel yc, so I cancel this and this, I have yb will be a x cosine to x plus b x sine to x plus c x squared cosine to x plus d x squared sine to x, which is this one. A times co a x cosine and sine, and also constant times x squared times cosine and times sine. Okay. Yeah, this will be the last one. This is very clear variation parameters. Standard form. Yes. What is f of x? 2 secant 3x. That will be f of x. 2 solved homogeneous. So I have r squared plus 9. So I have r equal plus or minus 3i. I need the yc. Yeah, we're doing it many times. That would be y1, that y2. Third step, Ronskin. That give me cosine 3x. Three cosine three x. That would be three cosine squared plus three sine squared. That would be three. The value one would be what? Yeah, zero. Two secant three x. Here I have what sine three x. Three cosine three x. That give me minus two secant three x sine three x. The value two is what? Cosine three x minus three sine three x. They have zero, two secant three x. That give me what? Two. Second times cosine is one. Okay. Yeah, you want the coefficient of cosine. So you want only U1 prime. Uh, sometimes it seems good to, to, to find all. Okay, so I have the fourth step. U1 prime is W1 over W. That is, I need to do some calculation here. Minus 2 sine 3x over cosine 3x over 3. Over 3. Okay. So u1 will be minus 2 over 3, integral of this. I need to do let u. So I let u will be cosine 3x. So du will be minus 3 sine 3x. The minus is there, but I need 3 and 1 over 3. So that will be 2 over 9 du over u, which is 2 over 9 ln cosine 3x, which is this one, by the way. But for completeness, so there is no, no intersection between them. Let me find u2 prime. That will be w2 over w. That will be what? Six an easy one. It is two over three. So u2 is two over three x. What is yb? Five. YB will be U1, Y1 plus U2, Y2. 
what is u1 2 over 9 len cosine 3x oops times cosine 3x plus 2 over 3x sine 3x so this is my unit that is the answer yeah the remaining is just question from the book and they will do them later inshallah so let me stop now this is the end of section 5.5 let me stop the recording. Thank you.